Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to paint this cute little dog, French Bulldog uh, with just four colors and just in uh, 30 minutes. So, uh, main colors for this painting that you are gonna use, it's some red color, I used Carmine, but you can also use some pinkish red color and uh, black color some natural uh, black color i used uh, ivory black by van gogh uh, also for some white spots or you can even not add these colors but this mix of these two colors creates very nice gray shadow so you can also take it as lavender and burnt umber or maybe raw umber also should work as for the brushes i used mainly these two brushes uh, synthetic by escoda number no. eight perla and silver brush number no. four and also i used some smaller brush by grabby number no. zero for just like creating some small details I also use a ceramic palette, you can just take a plate or just use the plastic ones if you have any. So let's start. Sorry guys, I just realized after the recording that I recorded video in the vertical format, so hope that you don't mind. Uh, if it bothers you, you can zoom in to see properly what I'm painting. So before we start, I actually want to prepare some color mixes on the palette to see which colors I will use. And uh, as I told you, I'm gonna use black color. Now I'm mixing lavender with burnt umber. But um, you can even not use this mix of colors if you don't have ones you can just use a very transparent mix of water and black color to cover the white spots on the face of the dog. And this pink color, uh, red with pinkish hue, I'm gonna use for the ears, for the tongue, uh, for the mouth of the dog. I also want to mix a red color with uh, some darker color. I mix it with raw umber, burn umber, sorry. Um, but you can also add some black color to make it not so pink, to look it more natural. So the last thing before we start painting with watercolor, I use kneadable eraser to remove some pencil lines from the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna start with covering the uh, white spots of the face of the puppy with just water. So I have some hue actually on the brush, but it's better if you just cover it with water and we will just add, we'll add some shadows to it right now, like I'm doing here i just add some very transparent color to the painting under the eyes around the nose of the puppy Thank you. 
and now I let it dry and I move to the ear. I'm doing the same. I cover the whole ear with just water and I will add some colors to the wet surface. If you've seen my previous video, uh, this technique is called wet on wet technique. So it's perfect for creating the first layer of the watercolor painting. And as I see on the reference, I have also some gray spots on the ear, so I just add it while the surface of the paper is still wet. And also you can remove some spots if you don't like how the watercolor blends with water. You can just clean your brush with water and let it dry with a paper towel and like this remove the color from the surface of the paper. And now I'm moving to the another ear and I'm doing practically the same. I cover the surface with water and I add some pinkish color to it. The main problem with the first layer that it doesn't look very nice, but you have to trust the process and you have to add more details on the second, third layer. It's okay. And uh, now, while my ears, well, ears of the puppy is drying out, I'm moving to the nose of the puppy and I cover it with the light hue of the pinkish color, uh, mainly with water. So I just use uh, the same technique that I used with ears. I just add some pinkish color to the top of the mouth well, I don't know how to call it, nose, um, and I just let it blend on the paper. And I'm moving to the eyes and I add some pinkish color to the bottom, to the inner part of the eye, around the pupil. And um, the main thing about painting the animal portraits is actually about the eyes and the darker colors. So you have to remember that it should be very sparkling and uh, we will create some highlights. It will help eyes to look vivid and uh, real, realistic. I, I'm adding some um, darker shades to the nose.
and um, we also want to cover the part under the mouth so I'm using the mix of black color and add some pinkish color to it because all the colors on your painting should like communicate with each other so you have to use the same mixes for the whole painting so it will look like the whole piece And now we are moving to the second layer. Um, the surface of the paper is already dry and uh, I'm just using this grayish color to highlight the eye. So I cover the surface around the eye, around the nose with this grayish color. And uh, now I want to add some uh, black spots so it's good time to take a look at the reference and to see where actually these black spots are placed on the face of the dog. And right now I am moving to the eye. I start to paint eye with the black color. And uh, just don't forget to leave some white small spots which will uh, represent the highlight in the eye.
And once we're done with the both eyes, we are moving to the nose. So the top of the nose actually is lighter than the bottom. So you might use some mix of the black color and water. So uh, now we are going to paint the left side of the face of the puppy. So I'm using black color and I'm just moving the color with the brush. And don't forget to leave uh, some white lines around the eye because the eye itself is black so we want the eye to pop up actually so that's why I'm leaving some white lines around the eye. And also this cute puppy has black spot on the ear, so I'm adding it right now and this black spot, it will be darker than the color of the head, uh, of the face. Uh, so basically you just need to use more dense color. You can take it right from the tube or from the pen and to apply to the paper. And as a second layer, I add some darker shades to the face of the puppy. And I'm moving to the nose, to the bottom of the nose, which is darker than the top, as I told you before. So you might want to use the darkest color, so take it right from the tube. And by using just a tip of the brush, I'm adding these small black dots to the face of the puppy.
So now we are moving to the tone and uh, you can see that the part of the tone that closer to us it's light pink and the part behind it's darker. So for the darker shade I'm mixing the pink color, carmine and a black color that I have. And normally we are painting uh, from the lighter to the darker spots. So I'm lifting my brush and moving color to the darker spot. And in the middle of the tongue we have this highlight, so I use dry and clean brush and remove some paint from the center of the tongue. And we start painting the body of the puppy so I'm just using the light mixture of the black color and a lot of water like 80% of water and 20% of color and I'm just covering the whole surface of the puppy body and um, it it just has to be like understandable but not with the details and as i told you before uh, the whole painting has to uh, include the same colors that you are using so i add some pinkish color as well And now I'm starting to paint mouth, so uh, we see 
it is like the darkest part of the face so i have to use the dark black color but to leave some spots for the pinkish color maybe for the mouth And I'm putting a little shadow around the tongue so it would pop up. I'm adding some more shadows uh, to the body of the puppy. And we want to add some more black color to the nose. And now, uh, when we are moving to the finish of our artwork, we have just to add some brighter, darker spots, maybe to make it more contrast. So I'm just underlining the jaw and uh, are the parts that are in shadow. Thank you guys for watching this video and painting with me. I hope you liked it. And uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions and follow my Instagram. Good luck!